Hey everybody, welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One, here to inspire and empower your wig journey by showing you a look at a brand new bell tress style. You can find it right here before you decide to buy. So we're gonna take a look at the style called Destiny by Bell Tress. I have Destiny in two colors, and we're going to do a full unboxing and styling. This one looks like a real beauty. Coming up. Wow, this is oh, going to be a huge hit for Bell Tress. I purchased these styles with my own funds. You can find them at Wig Studio One. If you drop below this video, I will attach a direct product link in the description box. If you click on that link, it'll take you out to the Wig Studio One website. You can check out all of the colors and the pricing. If you have any questions for us, please reach out to support at wigstudioone.com. Wow, here is Destiny, a short to mid-length classically inspired bob with a wispy bang and a ton of modern, more edgy touches to it. This is in the color Butterbeer Blonde, which is a mix of a sand, a dark sandy blonde with some platinum on a medium brown root. You've show, I've shown this to you many times. Most colors look a little different depending on the length um, and how much hair there is on a style, but this is a great combination. Let's head right into it because Beltrus has really knocked themselves out. This is a simple style, but complex at the same time. It's elegant, yet casual at the same time. And I love it. I just love it. I think it's beautiful and I think the bang makes all the difference. So first thing with the bang, it's a four and a half inch bang. This is the same bang that you find on styles like T. Rose. I have T. Rose back here. Um, London High Tea. The same bang that's on the Honey Bush, about the same length. So we know what to expect. Beltress is coming out with a lot of banged styles and I love it. Now bangs are one of those things where depending on the length of your forehead, that's how it's going to be managed. On me, that four and a half inch bang straight down will go right into the eyes, but on this particular piece, it is easily swept off to either side. I love it because there is an undercut. The bangs just aren't cut in, you know, they're just not slapped into the style. This is so well thought out. So if I pull up these top layers, you're going to see that runs temple to temple, that whole bang area. You've probably probably already guessed that this is a full extended lace front. So while I'm up here, why not, right? Let's go ahead and inspect that lace front. That way we can tell just what kind of versatility we're gonna have. That's beautiful. So that extended lace front runs halfway back through the ear tab seems to be nicely contoured. There's fine knotting. The highlight is brought up to the lace front. No visible seams, a beautiful natural look. Absolutely gorgeous. And then we have a lace monofilament lace part that runs all the way back to the crown area. And this is a nice, fine, light density. So you'll have no problem seeing through those monofilament features. Look at that bang. Just the more I manipulate it, the wispier it looks, the more natural it looks. It blends so well into the sides. Okay, this one gets an A. This bang really does get a real A from me. Um, now on the honey bush style, I had to, I didn't trim the bang, but I would have had to had I kept the style. This one doesn't need any trimming. It's the same light, silky, buttery texture that we're getting from the other Bell Trust Cafe collection. It is heat friendly. I don't know how they get it so light and fine and wispy. All other heat friendly fiber on the market today, and we're talking about Raquel Welch, Ellen Villa, Trezalore, they all have a thicker denier and it has a waxier, stickier finish to it. This one, I don't know how they get it so fine, light, and dry. I don't know how they get it so wispy being heat friendly. 
Bell Trust has really nailed the heat friendly fiber, that is for sure. Okay, moving on then, more modern touches. So at first glance, it looks just like a, a polished classic bob, right? And you can wear it that way. A classic straight bob with some, uh, some body and bounce and volume there on the sides that give it a rounded appearance. That's the elegant part of this, the classic part of this. But what you may not realize is it is easily toned down. Each one of these ends is razored for a modern look. So it's taken down. It's notch cut in areas that you get that nice razor wispy look. Now, the other thing that you're going to detect here is that it has a little bit of wave to it. And that wave, I think, is just a whisper of wave. I wouldn't look at this style and say it's a wavy style, but there's just enough under wave to this to give it a little bit of modern feel to it. It gives it a little bit of body and buoyancy. Um, it allows you to get a bigger profile without having any permatease. There's so little permatease on the style that it's barely palpable. There's just enough to cover wefting, I'm sure. Um, but none of the soft, pillowy permatease. On other styles like this, you would need a ton of that to, in order to get a full look. So we've got that nine and a half inch crown meeting up with about a three inch nape to create that effect in the back. Overall, it's about 10, 11 inches, I would say. You can start to see some of that wave. It's a soft wave. It's an air dried look, giving it an even more natural appearance, if that is possible. The density is very light. There's not a ton of fiber here. It just looks like it. But like I said, if you don't want that look, you can tame it down. You can tuck it. Look how easily that goes behind the ear. A lot of classic bobs with minimal layering have more of a dense amount of fiber. It's hard to get it around the ear. This one is perfect for ear tucks. Isn't that cute? Adorable, isn't it? It feels really lightweight on. It weighs about 3.8 ounces. Uh, it's just a real dream type style. So let's head into our unboxing without further ado. I can get so wrapped up that I forget what I need to be doing here. <laughs> so let's stay on track, Taz. All right, so this is the graphite. Okay. I cut the tag off but I have not opened it up yet on this color. That's how it comes in the box. A little bit of stuffing there. Let's look at the underside of that cap. This is the color graphite, remember. So this is their, basically their half moon lace, which is extended back into the ear tab, nicely contoured, okay? Now that lace front isn't very deep, nor does it need to be on a style like this with the bangs and so forth. And then there is a narrow monofilament part that runs to the crown, okay? These are just the perfect amount of monofilament features for this style. And then we have a velvet covered ear tab, closed ear tab and just a regular nape with the strap style adjusters, lots of wefting. I did have to make a good size adjustment on this one to fit my petite average circumference. This fits like regular belt truss typically does, which is more suitable to average large than it is for uh, petite or average petite. I just can't get over how fine and, and, and low density this is, and you're still getting a cloud-like volume on it. Okay, so I'm just gonna unweave the part here. So now you know what it looks like right out of the box. I'm gonna go ahead and slip on this one so that we can discuss the color, 
then I'll take you outside for a peek at this. Um, and then in the styling, I'm just going to move this around right in front of your eyes. This is the best way to get to know a new style. Okay, on this one now, I'm just going to kind of train it with the heat of my hand just to do a little bit of a up and over so that you can get a sense. Oh, the lace front on this color is amazing, isn't it? They bring the highlight right up. This is the color graphite, no seams. Oh, really well done, Beltress. Way to go. Um, okay, so let me just work this a minute. And then I want to get into this color. So to me, it just looks like, uh, like a medium denim, which is kind of a charcoal blue color. And then that quartz is actually that silvery white highlight. Um, now this is a fashion color, but it's so mainstream. It's so wearable, like the fast, so many of the fashion colors by Beltress. It's just very intentional looking, expensive, salon fresh. So I just can't get over all of these wispy layers. There's just next to no weight at all to this. A nice cloud-like texture and a razored weight line right here it just means that it's so wispy and light and it's obvious in its movement because the movement is so feathery. And that kind of gives it away because honestly, the wave makes it look thicker and fuller, but the movement is just so wispy, beautiful. I'll begin the styling segment in this color graphite and then I'll switch over to the Butterbeer Blonde for a couple. And again, this styling segment is meant to inspire you to style your wigs, but also it's just another way to get to know this brand new style to decide if it might be for you. Because if it weren't for styling, you would never know that this is a light density, cloud-like, fine fiber, with a bang that's wispy and light and can be styled and manipulated so easily for lots of different looks. This is a very versatile one made possible by those monofilament features. The glasses fit beautiful between the ear and the ear tap, so no problem there. 